The sheer volume of the depravity carried out by David Carrick would be notable on its own, but that he did so while a serving police officer makes his crimes all the more horrific. Carrick was an armed officer guarding the House of Commons and other government buildings and would often use his position to gain the trust of the women who would become his victims. Some were beaten, others were locked in cupboards for hours without food. In a hearing today, and in one last month, he pleaded guilty to dozens of offences. After he was charged more than a year ago, his name became public, leading other women to then come forward. Today, the victims who suffered at the hands of David Carrick have finally seen justice. It is their courage in standing up against this heinously abusive man, a police officer, that has helped to secure his conviction, ultimately breaking his power and control over women. David Carrick has now admitted crimes against 12 women. He's pleaded guilty to 24 counts of rape, nine sexual assaults, three counts of coercive control, two counts of false imprisonment and a string of other crimes. His offences span a 17-year period, dating from 2003 to 2020. But we now know he'd been previously reported to police over nine incidents, including rape allegations over 20 years. No further action was taken in these cases. Today, as the Metropolitan Police again found itself apologising, a senior officer said Carrick's offending was unprecedented in policing. I absolutely take responsibility on behalf of the Metropolitan Police Service that we have missed opportunities to identify those patterns of behaviour. He should have been dismissed from the police service a long time ago. And we know, as a serving police officer, he then used his power and his position as a police officer uh, to, to exert power and control over his victims. Most seriously for the Met, when a rape allegation was made in 2021, the force chose not to suspend Carrick, but put him on restricted duties. The police watchdog is now reviewing that decision as London's mayor says more should have been done. A pattern of behaviour, uh, an abuse of uh, trust, in my view. Uh, sh there are many missed opportunities that should have been spotted over the last uh, 17, 18 uh, years. Lessons uh, must be learned. The police officer's police mugshot. In his police uniform, David Carrick carried on with impunity for nearly two decades. Well, Julian is outside New Scotland Yard for us in central London tonight. Julian, good to talk to you. I'm sure many of our viewers and maybe some of those people who've, who've read a few of the details about this case and about this man throughout the day will just be staggered by the sheer scale of this. Hi, Dan. David Carrick was going to actually go on trial and fight these allegations, and that was until an astonishing court hearing last month, which I attended and we couldn't report at the time. Uh, he suddenly changed his pleas, in most cases, uh, to guilty. He was accused of so much, it actually took the court clerk uh, more than half an hour to read everything out. Uh, he pleaded not guilty, though, that day uh, to seven counts. His plan was to go on trial, uh, but he's clearly had a change of heart. It does mean at least that those women won't have to go through a trial. That was also the day, though, back in December, that uh, Carrick uh, stopped being paid by the uh, Met. He was suspended on his arrest back in October 2021. Um, but all the time up until then, he was claiming his salary. That is, that is their policy in these cases. He is still technically an employee now, but tomorrow there will be what they're calling an accelerated misconduct hearing at 9am. That is when Carrick will be formally and finally sacked.